No, it's just a reflection. Fucking goddamn blackout bullshit. Don't worry about the water, please. What's more important? There you go. about the rain coming into the fucking house. It's not that important. What are you looking at? I think it's a tree. Somebody ain't that goddamn brave. <laughs> This is a ghost. Oh god, here we go the really... What? You told me a lot. What are you talking about? Hmm? What are you talking about? The electric company's retarded. Okay. Yeah. Well, what what's going on? She does not tell me the that problem. We we have confirmed there is a power outage in your area. Well, we will know. get the power turned back on as soon as we can. Yeah. We know how as soon as they can yeah, is that could be between eight now, later. that could be between now and eight hours fucking later. I mean, the longest it's been out is five hours, and I do not want to go through that fucking shit again. I'm telling you, I'm going to save them, and I'm going to buy a generator. If I have to set the clock set the thing right in here. Want to ruin anything? Yeah, but the thing I'm not understanding... Earlier, power went out two times, storming like a motherfucker. Outside. That's what I said a while ago. What the fuck? It's out now and it's not even storming? Now it's just raining a little bit and it's out. And when it was storming, hell, it came back on. Went off the right back on it. I got a bad headache. No, so that's stressing. What are you stressing about, Missy? That she's hot. I can't breathe. You can breathe. No, You're not. just hot. I understand. I know. Just relax and you will be cool. I mean, that's what I try to tell you, and then you just sit there and bottle it up, stress it up, and it gets what? Feverish. I want to get it down. The generator wouldn't really do us any good, though, unless we could have somebody hook it up to the electric. So, I'll get somebody to come out here and hook it up to direct to the electric, then. Or, we could pull it out of wherever we keep it and put it out there on the patio or on the porch and just run a couple extension cords from it. That's dangerous. Especially in the rain. Just keep in one of these fucking rooms we're not using. Yeah, but you don't want to run it inside though, because they're gas powered. Not, not to mention the loudest bug. Okay, you put in the cubby hole underneath the trailer.
so talented, ridiculous. Even in Carthage, we never, we never had the electric go out like this, except for when we had that ice storm. You know the bad thing? We had better electric service when our bill was eight hundred dollars. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, because they're getting money. Well, they're just hurting themselves right now because they're not getting. It. They're not getting the power from anywhere over here. Yeah. They're not. They're not getting power, so they're not making money. No. I don't know why these clucks don't get a clue that they need to go around this whole goddamn town and cut back these fucking trees from the lines. Cut the trees from the lines and move the lines away from the houses more. So, I don't know, some stupid squirrel, possum, cat, rabbit, flying dog, where the fuck lives around here, don't go suicide on this. Oh, look, there's a power a power generator right there. The I'll smack right into it. In the last few times the power went out, it's been a fucking tree limb fall. Well, you know, there, there's an easy way to fix that. Actually, both of the situations. You know, do like the big cities do. Put the shit underground. Mm, yeah. Then you don't have to worry about squirrels running across the lines. You don't have to worry about trees or tree branches falling on the lines. Now they're too stupid, though. Oh, we don't want to do that. It would be just as easy for them to get their lazy asses out there and cut back the trees. Well, that's Dusty's department there. And that's what it is. It's laziness. Mm -hmm. Plus, they're not getting paid enough. I guarantee you that. Because this town's not, you know. Well, they get paid enough because they're working for Kansas City Power and Light. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're paying. They're getting paid by Kansas City. To run a shithole like this, but that doesn't mean they're getting paid a lot. They're getting paid enough, you know, to live here and say, okay, I'll wait until about, you know, up to ten people call and bitch. And then we'll drive our trucks out there, you know, wake up, drive our trucks out there and stare at a pole for 20 minutes until we figure out. Oh, a tree limb fell three blocks down. And it don't do any good for anybody to call Dusty. Don't do no good to call the power company either. I could obviously there's somebody else that's awake out here than just me. I'm timing these motherfuckers too. Stupid people. What does that sound? Stupid 
nuts falling on the goddamn trailer. Like my mom said, when we were living at Bev's, hell, when we were living at Randy's, one of the shittiest fucking trailer parks in the world, we never had this much problem. Yeah, that electrical never big parkour. Uh huh. I don't think the power there ever went out. It didn't. No, we had like one of the. Remember that one worst rainstorm we had there? Where you had all the idiots out there fucking shooting off fireworks and then bonfires. That one I've never understood. It never went out. That, that trailer park. Like I said, the only time we ever lost power was when we had that big ass ice storm. I mean, that was one of the worst trailer parks in the world because, I mean, the whole place was a dump. They had free kitty litter, <laughs> big pile of cat litter on the fucking outside. I never understood that. And then, you had all the shit that was nigger rigged so fucking bad that, you know, you, you couldn't do it. If you went outside and touched something, you wouldn't get shocked because it would probably shock somebody inside their own house. That's how bad it was nigger rigged. I mean, a big old pile of cat litter in the middle of the park. <laughs> I never understood. What was up with that? No one told us. We, I even asked, I, have, I asked everybody I could, I said, what the fuck is up with the cat litter? They're like, I don't know. I don't know, you got a bunch of strays. Okay, and they need the cat litter box, they need a cat litter box, why? The whole, the whole world is their cat litter box. I mean, this was fucking five, six foot tall. I mean, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't have known it was cat litter until I found a whole shitload of turds in the middle of it. Because when me and Cameron used to climb that thing, we used to climb the fucking thing, you know, run around it on top of it and shit like that, and then. Uh, my foot got deep in there when I pulled it out. A bunch of cat turds came out. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I started smelling my hands. I'm like, oh my god, this is cat litter. <laughs> I would have never known that. At least you're staying cool. <laughs> I mean, a big pile of cat litter right in the middle of the park. No wonder them kittens were under that fucking shed. Mm -hmm. Their bathroom was right there next to it. <laughs> Is that where you found them? And vampire. It's not where we found vampire, was it? I think so. No, no. I don't remember. We found a cat there, I know that. And then we found uh, the cat we let go, which ended up being a real wild feral cat, and it grew up big time. I can't remember that cat name either. I think we found a couple cats there. I know the two kittens we had that I had to take and get rid of, we okay. got from them people up there by Mizzou's. The two tortoise. Well, we're on 15 minutes. Everything's red inside my room. The wall is wet. Oh well. Oh well. It's just a wall. There ain't nothing in it anyway. There's 
nothing around that window like a plug in. The plug in's over there, so. This has to be one of the stupidest places we ever lived. If it's not the electric company, it's the internet people don't kind of fix it. It's the internet problem. If it's not the internet people, it's the electric. If it's not the electric, The people that live here used to be the cable company until we switched to fucking dish. She has a flashlight. She won't be able to find her way around the house. And Travis is probably inside crying because the power's out anyway. He's probably going to call her on the cell. Mom! I can't play my video games because the damn, damn power's out. I'll go to bed. No! <laughs> Saturday, Mom. Why'd you buy me that DS I wanted? At least that doesn't run off away, Trick. <laughs> Him and Greg both, I swear, are little whiny ass bitches. Oh, I can't go cut grass, that's my brother's job. <laughs> What's the difference? There's only two yards in this whole park that Greg has to cut nice. And that's berries and number ones. Well, you know he cuts berries a decent. Yeah, because berries paying him $15 a yard. to us because we owe him fifty dollars. I don't owe him fifty dollars. I know what I owe him and that it's thirty dollars Well we did own fifty at one time. No. Yeah, before we gave him them twenty dollars in movies. Whines too much, and not just that. When the grass actually needs to be cut, he's nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. And when it don't, well, he, he, he's on the ball, trying to cut whatever is on the ground. Dude, it hasn't rained. It's, it's been a thousand degrees, <laughs> and you're yeah, gonna yeah. cut the fucking grass that's not there. The whole summer, every yard in this park's dying. Oh, I gotta cut grass, it's an inch tall. But when it's like a foot tall, uh. I'll get it next time. I'll get it next time. I'll get it in a week. Oh, but I gotta run down here real quick and cut berries yard. I got berries and number ones. With berry, I had, I had to do number ones because it's right next to berries. You know, as much cars as I'm hearing, I'm not, 
I'm not seeing anything getting done. Why? Because there wasn't. <laughs> That's what the gloves are for. And the tools. And the flashlights. <laughs> you know, we have a time using flashlights real well. Is that pole, that pole up there look any different? No, it can't be that. That, that can't be the problem. Sit here and stare at it for 30 more minutes. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm damn serious. That's what they were doing that that night. Power was out for like five hours. I can't. That's, that's so, so stupid but funny. I mean, <laughs> you see five feet in front of you a tree that had fell across the power line. But they're down at the bottom of the hill, across the street, staring at the top of that <laughs> Duh, what do you think needs fixed? <laughs> then later that night, I went to the substation. There's one guy sitting down there, sitting at the gate in his truck with this flashlight aimed up at the pole. And he just sat there for like 20 minutes staring at the pole. <laughs> That's hard. And then he pulls out, I said, uh, did you finally get the problem fixed? Well, I'll know here in just a second. Okay, so what are you looking at the pole for? He gets out of his truck, gets his big old long stick, he goes to the pole, like 10 feet away from his truck, and flips his breaker, and there's the power. Oh my god. What a dumbass. And I said, so you're telling me that little breaker is what caused the power to be out for five hours? Oh no, uh-uh. The, the tree falling across the lines down there did. But it took you 20 minutes? For, well, actually, it took you five hours for you to get down here, and it took you another 20 minutes just to look up with a flashlight and go, huh, that's a pretty pole, and then get out of your fucking car after you're done fantasizing about the fucking pole to... Hit a switch. Well, I don't take a rocket science just being an electric man around here, that's for sure. I hate to see if they caught them somewhere else in Missouri and they had a bad storm or something go through. <laughs> oh, look, George, there's a tree across the line. What do we do with it? Oh, see that pole over there? Yeah. Why well, aim your flashlight up there and make us look like we're working? <laughs> <laughs> but is that going to get anything done? Oh, it might. We just have to believe. We just have to believe <laughs> that it'll work. We live in the world of Disney. We have to. We just. And we're not in Kansas anymore. We're in the world of Disney. We have to just believe that the power is going to come on by itself. And if it doesn't work in between 20 minutes to an hour to five hours, then just go out there and flip the switch. Yeah, then just throw some another pole and flip, flip the breaker back up. Then, then it'll come back on, I promise. I believe that's what they do. I, I, I seriously do. I think they just sit up there and wait to see if it comes on by itself. And if it doesn't, then they hit the switch. Mm -hmm. and, 
when it's obvious. If it hasn't came off for five hours, it's not going to come back on. You're going to have to fucking do something. The bad thing is that day, the first time I went down there, first time I went down there, the guy said it'd be about ten minutes. Because all they had to do was put shit back up the top of the roll. And then I go back down there. Shit's back to top of the pole. Oh, yeah, but we still got to look at a couple other things. Okay. You look in the right out there after they're done fixing it and look in the tree. Fucking sparks just falling from the tree. to me makes me wonder why they even sent you the application. Really. I guess they just want to waste some more trees. Because the person that did the concrete died. It ain't going to make no difference anyway if they make them out of concrete. The fucking trees fall on the line. Well, yeah, but then you wouldn't have to worry about cars running into the poles and knocking them over. <laughs> no, you just have a car smash into a concrete block and fucks up the fucking front end. Oh, well. <laughs> At least we'll still have power. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. The concrete guy died. He he made that one down there and then suffered a severe heart attack. Yeah, he died <laughs> of a heart attack while he was making the pole. <laughs> and then his son stepped in and finished the pole for him and said, fuck it, I quit. Well, I finished it and then drive by shooting. <laughs> My dad died while, I was doing, while he was doing this, so I, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> Makes me wonder though, you call KCPNL and, and tell an automated thing that there's a power outage, but yet if you sit on on hold or whatever and try to talk to somebody you hear well I'm sorry we're closed can you call back during business hours <laughs> how the Flip hell the switch you redneck fuckers I mean how the hell do they get people dispatched to come out here and fix it if there's nobody there Just 
turn the fucking power back on. I want to go to bed. going on 30 minutes. Unless they were ready earlier for the storms that were supposed to come through, they had them out here to keep shit working like that. Understand that they can, them and birds can run across in lines all day long. Nothing happens to them. But a tree barely touches the power line and it starts sparking. But then if a squirrel runs across the transformer, it'll kill them. Yeah, a transformer. Back in the day, you could throw fucking shoes at it. Or tie your shoe strings together and throw them at the power line. Yeah, that's that. Uh, what they do in the ghetto. <laughs> kicking on goobers. Wow. They did it in 35 minutes, Mike. 